Hello, beautiful people. It is 3.23 on the 20th of December, 2017. And I'm aware that actually tomorrow, tomorrow's the shortest day. And I think that gives a real kind of marker for the season that we move towards. And I was writing something about that this morning. Um, very aware that as it's Christmas coming up, and I deal a lot with addiction, and I'm a therapist, and I'm a yoga teacher... As we come closer and closer to that, those few days that are really important, whether, you know, Boxing Day, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, all back to front, I think it's, it's really important. You might be really healthy. You might be really well. You could be fantastically happy. And actually, I really hope that you are. And I think what I'm aware of is that some people, they aren't. Some people are really struggling. And I'm not saying go dashing out and go and find all those people. But particularly as a yoga teacher, I think it's really important to be aware how powerful posture and breath can be in restoring us back into our adult. There's a very famous joke as a yoga teacher. There's a famous joke, which is, do you know how you test how spiritual you are? And the test is that you spend time with your family. That's how you test how spiritual you are. Because if anyone's going to trigger you, if you've got those points that make you flash up into whatever it is that you flash up into, anything from anger to self-harm, this is the season to get triggered. This is the season to flash up. And as a yoga teacher, I know that every single time I teach, every time I open a series, the first thing I do in the warm-ups is I land people into their bodies. So in the build-up to Christmas and it's very few days away now, I think I'd like to say stretch. Every time you lose, you lose your sense of yourself, have a stretch. And actually one of the most classic ones is literally just sitting, interlock your fingers, and then in slow motion, in, in real slow motion, stretch up so that you start to open up the fascial bridges in the body. You keep breathing and you turn your head. My hands have disappeared up up here and you keep turning your head and then you start to rotate your shoulders I'm wearing all black it's very hard to see but do that for like a minute and and actually what happens is you land back in your body what you do by just that simple stretch is you neutralize your nervous system and if that isn't enough and quite often that is enough certainly when I'm working with clients with difficult stories and they get upset just that will bring them back into their bodies. Cobra. You know cobra when you lie on your stomach, you put your hands and then you push up and you always must raise your chin. That raised chin is it's actually quite vital. It's actually a very important part of the stretch because the vagus nerve starts here in the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the throat. When you raise your chin in any of these postures and turn your head, life changing. So cobra, um, that stretch I just showed you, and this wonderful thing called Sufi grind. Difficult to teach without showing you. But you sit cross-legged, put on a really cool piece of music. A very good piece of music is by a woman called Sev Daliza. Sev Daliza has a track called Human. It's got a red album cover. Put that piece of music on. It's got a terrible beginning, but when it starts properly, it's perfect. And you literally, you rotate your, your rib cage around your pelvic girdle. So you're doing this very very sensual movement with the breath, slowly. And what you do is you massage all of your internal organs. And so the moment you feel that you're, you've lost your blob or you're throwing your, pram, your, to your toys out of your pram or you're not centered or you're at risk of turning into the bad-tempered, cross, angry, hurt child, choose whichever one suits you, go and stretch. Go and move your body appropriately, like, big curving stretches back so that you release all of that contraction and I promise you it makes it easier. It really does. I wish you a fantastically happy Christmas and I'm sorry about machines going ping. More soon.